Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is a review video of the new user features introduced into Axis Camera Station Pro 6.4. In this release, we have introduced a diagnostics page. Within the server menu item, you can find a page with useful information, typically for integrators. Within the first section, you can create a system report which contains all of the configuration parameters and logs of the system. This report will always be required by technical support when troubleshooting a solution. You can also generate client and server configuration sheets. These configuration sheets contain all of the settings that have been applied. The server configuration sheet can be a really useful document. All settings are documented, such as the details of the devices in the system, the camera names, network settings, and even recording settings. All of this information can be used as part of the handover documentation and is automatically generated by Axis Camera Station Pro. You can also reach the Axis Online Services status page. Here, you can see the current status of all of the Axis Online services. Any disruptions and maintenance will be highlighted on this page, and it can be a useful first step if you're encountering an issue. Note that you can also subscribe to updates, and an email will be sent to you if there is a disruption to the services you are interested in. A new feature is that we have added the ability to restart the server service from the client. This can be useful when activating some components as a server service restart may be required. This feature gives you the ability to restart the server service remotely, removing the need to be physically at the server. The final item in this page is the Axis Installation Verifier. This tool will stress test your system and document the findings. The documentation can be used to verify your system will operate correctly under difficult conditions such as busy scenes and low light conditions where bit rates can rise above the normal conditions. The report can also be used as part of service visits to ensure that the system is still operating correctly over time. We have improved the integration of the Axis D1110 video decoder. The decoder now supports the display of up to nine video streams. Note, if you try and select a split view containing more than nine video streams, it will not be possible to send this to the decoder. Only templates containing up to nine video streams can be used with the decoder and the dynamic view is not supported. Another improvement made to an existing feature is the support for devices that contain two audio inputs, such as the Axis FA54 and the Axis D3110 connectivity hub. You can now select any audio input from devices that have multiple inputs and associate them with a video source. Finally, we have made it possible to use the Axis i7010 and 20 intercoms as IP readers within the Axis control configuration. An OSDP reader can be connected to the intercom, which will then be recognized as an IP reader when configuring a door controller in the system. This allows you to expand existing installations and also it can simplify cabling on site. I hope you have found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.